Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Mom Spills the Tea. Um, so, I just want to talk a little bit um, with you guys about um, what the last, um, what this morning for me was like. Oh, excuse me. I am drinking my uh, my coffee today. But um, it's the caramel macchiato from uh, Starbucks. So, um, I decided that I needed to go to Walmart this morning, um, because I hadn't been to the store, um, in just a, a few weeks. Yeah, I know. I'm a mom of three. I work full time. And who has time to go to the daggone grocery store every day, every day? No, but we, we have like a Dollar General, um, here in our town. So I do stop by there if I need a few things. But anyway, so when I went to Walmart this morning, I decided that I needed to do a full grocery run, knowing what our society or what our world is was going through this week with the COVID-19 uh, coronavirus. Anyway, so I decided to go, go ahead and go to Walmart, and like I said, to do my full grocery run, and I'm going to tell you what. It was just madness in there. There was, and I'm going to show a video about that, but there was no water. There was no baby uh, wipes for babies. What, what does these people think that baby wipes and, I mean, I, I don't know. I just think it, that it it has become just pure panic for us. You know, we we as a society need to come together um, to take care of our neighbors. You know, this, everything that's going on in our world right now is causing nothing but fear. And, you know, me being a mom of three, my kids really are not scared about it. I'm grateful for that. Um, me as a mom, yes, I am a little a little scared about it because I have them to take take care of. You know, what what are we gonna do as a as a country, as a as a world? But back to Walmart, back to um, the story of of the Walmart. Um, there, I mean, the toilet paper, all the paper products. There was like nothing. Um, how much freaking toilet paper does one person need? Um, you know, what, what are, what are people thinking? You know, and, and people are just so wrapped up in fear that, you know, it has taken over your mind. Um, you know, back to the baby thing again. Uh, there, there's no formula for these poor little babies. What about these moms that have babies and they need the formula? They need the wipes for their babies, you know? Um, I just, I, I just don't understand. Um, this is just bizarre. Um, we've had, uh, viruses in the past that have killed people and, you know, our country has not been on lockdown, but our country is on lockdown now. And, you know, we as communities need to come together and help one another during this time. Um, I know for my kids, they're out of school. This is their, um, the, for the next two weeks, they're on spring break. So we had already planned to do a few things, but of course we couldn't do that um, because you know, there's, there's lockdowns everywhere. You're not going to be able to go anywhere. But, you know, we are, um, doing other things. Like I'm going to do a full cleaning in this house that I really, really need to do. Um, but we've got to find other things to do. I mean, we could go out, you know, we'll go out walking or to a park or something, but you know what, what, is people thinking I mean the grocery stores the soup aisle it was it was bare there were just very little very few cans of soup and you know 
it it saddens me because there was these little old people that, and it just, it makes me want to cry, but there was these little old people just pushing their carts and, you know, this little old man was walking with his wife. I'm assuming it was his wife. They had just a little small cart and they were pushing their cart down the aisle and they were looking for soup and there wasn't any for them, you know, and the poor little old lady just says, well, we need to figure something else out. I mean, you know, it, our grocery stores would not run out of things like they are if we as a society didn't panic so much, um, you know, it's just, it's madness. It's pure madness. You know, so just during this time, um, just really stop and think about your neighbors. Think about the elderly. You know, maybe you didn't get to the grocery store before everything ran out. But, you know, we just ha need to come together as a community and help one another. Um, you know... I, I don't know. It's, it's, uh, it's our society, you know, and this is going to be a new norm that we are not used to. You know, I'm not used to being isolated in my home and with my kids. No, we don't do a whole lot. You know, I'm, I'm a mom of three kids. I don't have the money to go out and do, 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 but you know, just knowing that I'm not that I'm not going to be able to go out and maybe there's going to come a time in the near future that we're not going to be able to go out and just buy a gallon of milk. You know, then what? You know, um, me as a person, I don't like being in a lockdown situation. But you know what? What are we going to do? What are you going to do? Um, you know, we have to be the bigger person in this situation. And, you know, our kids look up to us. And if our kids see us being fearful, then you know what? It's going to create panic in them and they're going to be fearful. Um, you know, my, my daughter, when I come back home from getting my groceries, uh, my daughter uh, went outside and she said, well, the zombie apocalypse have hit are coming. And, you know, my neighbor was out there and she started laughing with her. Um, but, you know, just be there. Just be there for each other. Don't don't try to be fearful. I know it's kind of hard situation to to do, but, you know, um, try to do your own research on things. Me uh, I grew up in a church, so I've read my Bible. I do know the Bible a little bit. I'm not like I want to know that or not like I, um, would like to know or have more knowledge about, but you know, I was raised up. My mom, she took me to church when I was little, took me and my, my sisters to church. And so I know what the Bible says and, you know, don't, if there's any advice that I can give to you, don't take all the news in the media, you know, because sometimes they don't give you all the facts about things. Sometimes the, you know, they don't tell you everything. So if there's any advice that I can give you is do your own research, you know, usually go with what your gut or with your heart, what your heart tells you. Um, you know, just try to to form your own opinions about things. Don't take what you hear or what somebody else's hear or hear say have said to you. Do your own research. Do your own, um, just do your own research about things. Um, and, you know, just, I guess, over the next few weeks when everybody is on isolation, just, uh, just do, do things that, that I guess to bond you together with your family. Um, you know, I don't like not being 
able to be sociable with people. I don't like that. Um, I don't like being able not to be able to go to work. But, you know, this is this is what what our country is coming down to is, you know, they're it, it's all coming down to you're not going to be able to go where you want you. You are going to be told there's going to be every aspect of your life that is going to be told to you what to do. You know, you just have to make the right choices and do the right things about what is best for you and your family. Um, only you can can make those decisions and only you know. Um, me as a person, I'm, I'm going to figure things out to do around my house. And, you know, as I said, we're going to we're going to take walks. We're going to go to a park more Um as far as going to like a theater or something like that, our theaters, they're, they're closing this week. So, you know, there's not going to be a lot of things to do. Um, this maybe is a time for you to, uh, get closer with your family or, or, you know, something, maybe you could take on a new hobby or do something that you've wanted to do and haven't been able to do because you've been so busy. Well, now you're going to be in your house and you're not going to be really busy, you know. Um, just, you know, do good, do kind things. Uh, in the midst of all this fear and all the commotion and all the, the turmoil that's going in our world, um, just try to try to think of something good and maybe you could do something good for your neighbor and just be there be there for your kids just be there for for yourself to make sure you take care of yourself because yourself you you need to make sure that you take care of yourself more than anything but um, I just hope everybody has stays safe this week and has a good week. And I'm going to try to post a few more videos this week. If you, if you do not subscribe to my channel, to Mom Spills the Tea, please subscribe. I would love to have you um, enter, uh, being on, um, be, sorry, I would love to have you here to, so I can share my life with you and, you know, um, maybe give you advice on things that I've been through. Maybe you haven't. Um, uh, you know, it is, it, I'm going to do a lot of, uh, uh, I want to do some reviews. So, and you know, I do drink coffee all the time. So I'll be talking a lot about my coffee drinking. I'll probably be drinking coffee most of the time when I'm talking to you guys, but, um, just make, make, uh, uh, laugh more with your kids, talk more with them. Um, just be there more for your kids during this time. And, um, I hope everybody has a great week and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Um, thank you and God bless each one of you. Bye. I'm literally at Walmart right now and there is no baby wipes anywhere. This is insane. All right, this is the Washington River Isle. This is, this is completely insane. All right, so now we're on the Water Isle. The Dish Soap Isle. Literally crazy.